always welcome this part of the show because it gives me a chance to sit and talk with all of you. And I do thank you all for being here today. You know, it, it seems like every day somebody's writing a book. There's always a new autobiography out on the market. So you know what? I decided that I would write one too. And I wanted to tell about the experiences that I had with my family, leaving my birthplace in New York, coming out to California. And we traveled across country, and we had such good times, and I wanted to write about the love that we had. But you know something I realized after the first couple of chapters? Publishers weren't interested in what I had to say. They wanted to hear about the glitz and the glamour, and the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Since we were neither of those, I decided instead of putting my words into a book, I thought I would put them into music. And it goes something like this. You know, I don't remember too much about the trip from my birthplace to California since I was only four years old. But I do know of the hard times my mom and dad had after reaching the Golden State that held the promise of a better way of life. From my city in the east to the city of the angels. hoping that one day they'd own their own home, which was a long time in coming. It seemed that hard times were always upon us, but my folks never wavered in their belief in God or their growing family. And it was this kind of faith, living in the city of angels, that an angel appeared in the form of a man known to millions as Walt Disney. sitting in the audience watching me dance in a little school play, or that I'd be chosen to wear one of TV's most famous hats. The rest, all of you know. But most of all, I want to thank my mom and dad for giving me the love and encouragement that helped me fulfill my dreams and become a small part of this great land that I love so.